Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. The Duchess of Sussex opened up about her life as a royal family member in a no-holds-barred interview last March with the doyenne of U.S. chat shows. During the course of the interview, Meghan and Prince Harry made a series of explosive revelations that shook the foundations of the House of Windsor to its very core. The Duchess revealed that she had contemplated suicide at one stage, while the couple also implied that a royal family member was racist. Lady Antonia Fraser, a renowned historian whose books include works on Mary Queen of Scots and Oliver Cromwell, was scathing in her criticism of the decision to grant the interview. The author told The Telegraph, Now I'm afraid, appearing on, Oprah Winfrey was worse than a crime. It was a mistake. I just wish vainly she'd shut up. And Prince Harry. And Prince Andrew. I'd like to see another photograph by the Duchess of Cambridge rather than read another thing about Prince Harry. Lady Fraser boasts some blue blood herself, being the daughter of the seventh Earl of Longford. She was married to the British playwright Harold Pinter, a former Nobel laureate. Besides her historical works, the talented author has also written detective novels. Lady Fraser revealed she had originally a positive opinion of the Duchess and had tried to reach out to her when she first arrived. She said she wrote Meghan a letter and sent it to Frogmore Cottage, where the royal couple were then living. However, the letter was returned and seemingly had not been read by the intended recipient. Lady Fraser said, I sent the letter to Frogmore. It came back, saying, not known at this address. Despite Lady Fraser's harsh appraisal of the Oprah interview, many others praised the Duchess for her courage to speak out and saw it as an inspirational move. Bernice Kane, the youngest child of the late civil rights activist Martin Luther King, tweeted at the time, Royalty is not a shield from the devastation and despair of racism. I'm grateful that Meghan Markle is still here. Tennis champion Serena Williams called Meghan her selfless friend, who teaches me every day what it means to be truly noble. She added, Her words illustrate the pain and cruelty she's experienced. I know firsthand the sexism and racism institutions and the media used to vilify women and people of color to minimize us, to break us down and demonize us. We must recognize our obligation to decry malicious, unfounded gossip and tabloid journalism. The mental health consequences of systemic oppression and victimization are devastating, isolating, and all too often lethal. So what do you think, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.